let us solve various questions on nth roots and indices which use these laws. So the first question is what is the 5 by 4th power of 256? Well if you recall 256 is the square of 16. So you can write 256 raised to 5 by 4 as 16 square raised to 5 by 4. Well 16 is the square of 4. So you can write this as 4 square raised to 2 and which is raised to 5 by 4. Now you know the law of indices if you have a raised to m raised to n it is equals to a raised to m times n. So this is equals to 4 raised to 2 times 2 is 4 which is again raised to 5 by 4 and this is equivalent to 4 raised to 4 times 5 by 4. This 4 and 4 gets cancelled out. What remains is 4 raised to 5. Now 4 raised to 5 is equal to 1024. But let us simplify it more. 4 raised to 5 can be written as 2 raised to 2 raised to 5. 4 is 2 square and that is equal to 2 raised to 10. And most people remember the powers of 2. So 10th power of 2 is 1024. Moving ahead to the next question, what could be the right answer? First of all, let us represent 216 as a product of its prime factors. I hope we can get something from that. So 216 can be divided by 2, we get 108. So 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 27 is 54. Then now we cannot divide by 2, we will divide it by 3. So 3 times 9 is 27 and 3 times 3 is 9. So 216 is equal to 2 cube, 1, 2, 3, 2 times 3 cube. Now this is equivalent to 2 times 3 raised to 3. This is the law of indices. If you have a raised to m, times b raised to the same number you can write it as a b raised to m so that's what we have done here so this is equivalent to 6 cube so 216 is the cube of 6 so I can write this as minus 1 upon 6 cube raised to minus 2 by 3 now we can write minus 1 as minus 1 cube because minus 1 cube will give you minus 1. So this is minus 1 cube upon 6 cube raised to minus 2 by 3. We can write this as minus 1 by 6 whole cube then again whole raised to minus 2 by 3. So this is equal to we know the law of indices which is a raised to m raised to n is equals to a raised to m times n. So we can write this as minus 1 by 6 raised to minus 2 by 3 times 3. 3 and 3 gets cancelled out. What remains is minus 1 by 6 raised to minus 2. Now if you have a raised to minus 1 it is equivalent to 1 by a. So now we can write this minus 1 by 6 raised to minus 2 as 1 upon minus 1 by 6 raised to 2 and that is equals to 1 upon 1 by 36 and this 36 will go up so what remains is 36 so the correct answer is option A 36 okay what could be the answer of this next question you know the formula if A is raised to minus 1 it is equivalent to 1 by a. So if you have 1 by a raised to minus 1 it is equivalent to a. So you can write this complete thing as 216 raised to 2 by 3 plus 256 raised to 3 by 4 plus 32 raised to 1 by 5. So you have it right there. 
and this is equivalent to 216 is 6 cube so you have 6 cube raised to 2 by 3 plus 256 is equivalent to 4 raised to 4 well if you calculate 4 raised to 4 you will get 256 so this is 4 raised to 4 then we have raised to 3 by 4 plus 32 is 2 raised to 5 so 2 raised to 5 raised to 1 by 5 and this is equivalent to 6 raised to 2 by 3 times 3 plus 4 raised to 4 times 3 by 4 plus 2 raised to 5 times 1 by 5. The law of indices that I have used here is a raised to m raised to n is equals to a raised to m times n. So this is equivalent to 3 and 3 get cancelled out here. Here 4 and 4 get cancelled out and here 5 and 5 get cancelled out. So what remains is 6 square plus 4 cube plus 2 raised to 1. So 6 square is 36 plus 4 cube is 64 plus 2 and this is equal to 102. So our answer is option A. Well this one's an easy question. What could be the answer of this question? So you have a law of indices that says that if you have a raised to m divided by the same number raised to another power, it is equivalent to a raised to m minus n. So you can write this expression as 10 raised to 150 divided by 10 raised to 146. So this is equivalent to a raised to m upon a raised to n. So it is equal to 10 raised to 150 minus 146. And that is equal to 10 raised to power 4. And that is 1 followed by 4 zeros. So 10,000 is our right answer. This one is also easy. This is the final question. What could be the answer? Well, you can always use this formula a raised to m upon a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n. So you have 1000 raised to 7 upon 10 raised to 18. But you cannot directly use this formula because this number a should be same in the numerator and denominator. But we have 1000 in the numerator and 10 in the denominator. Well, we can convert this. 1000 is 10 cube. So this is equal to 10 raised to 3 raised to 7 upon 10 raised to 18. Now there is another formula a raised to m raised to n is equals to a raised to m times n. So this is equal to 10 raised to 3 times 7 which is 21 upon 10 raised to 18. Now you can use this formula and get the answer. So this is equivalent to 10 raised to 21 minus 18 and that is equal to 10 raised to 3. So 1000 is the right answer.